You know, one of the things they don't tell you about reselling is how lonely it can feel sometimes, right? So my house is empty right now. And while that's usually great because I can focus and I can get listings done, I'm really feeling the loneliness pinch. But I have to remind myself, every time I go out thrifting or I've got my camera rolling, I have my audience there with me. And so that provides me with a little bit of comfort and a little bit of relief. And so today, to overcome my loneliness, you and I are going to the thrift stores. We're going to shop until we drop like we always do. And as always, I am Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet. I am the one man show, but let's hit the thrift stores and try to overcome the sadness that is having an empty house, even if it is temporary. And let's see if I can find anything to flip online. Looks like the toy section has been pretty cleared out. Nicely organized though. I spotted this, this actually came out on a cart. Someone had it and then they set it down and it piqued my interest because I've, I don't know what Netty is. And so naturally I just wanted to see what was inside. To my surprise, it is a brand new pickleball set. So I did the research on it. You can see there are two headbands. It's got two of the balls and then two brand new paddles. So I did the research and couldn't believe my eyes. This is actually a really popular game right now in my area. It might be nationally as well. The entire set looks brand new. It's only $5. I got this listed for 100 and I sold it for 75. It sold pretty quickly. That was a really exciting find because I haven't sold anything that is pickleball related before. Is it a national thing or is it just a local thing? They built a pickleball, I think, court close to uh, the police station in uh, in my area so it must be at least growing here and maybe it's growing nationally so some carts came out and i grabbed this bag of lego for ten dollars the set in there i think is anakin's podcast or something like that but this minifigure right here padma i'm gonna sell some of these individually i think i can get fifteen dollars for her you can see luke in the orange with the white hat. I'm gonna get 15 for him as well. And all together, there were five minifigures in this pack. The sets were incomplete. There was like a Minecraft set in there as well. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with like just the loose pieces, but I think I can probably squeeze 40 to $50 out just by parting out the minifigures. So for that reason, I'm gonna pick this up. Sometimes I don't pick up loose Lego because it just takes so much time to sort, find pieces, put together, you know you know how it is. It's a fun activity for myself and my daughters, but time constraints, uh, I don't normally pick them up, so I am gonna grab those. This raffia hat, straw hat, was in really nice condition, and so I just, I set it down here thinking that uh, it would have some value. It did not when I did the sold comparable research, so we're gonna have to leave that behind here, looking for shoes. Actually, I do grab this, uh, Nike soccer backpack. So this is brand new without tags. I don't have uh, an, an exact comp on here. These usually sell for me, for me if they're brand new for around $25 to $30. So I'll list it at $25. It's going to cost me $6. But the real home run is this Franklin Mint piece that I'm about to pick up right here. So this is a 1953 Ford tractor. Now, it has some broken elements to it, right? It's missing two front headlights. It's missing like an exhaust pipe. It's not in perfect condition. But I'll tell you what, these are extremely popular. They're hard to find, they're in demand, and I've already sold this. I listed it for 120, and that's exactly what it sold for. And it sold within hours of me listing it. So that was an amazing score. Those Franklin Mint pieces are extremely delicate. This one was kind of similar. This is actually an Ertl John Deere. I thought they were both, you know, highly valuable, but when I looked up the John Deere, it was really, I think it was selling for around $25 brand new. So I, I didn't think that one was worth it. So I do end up leaving that one behind. But that Franklin Mint piece was an absolute score. And same with these shoes. So this is a really unique pair of Nike Vapor Max. And the style is, and you'll see it in a second, AJ6599. They're a woman size seven and a half. One of these actually just sold with free shipping for $200. And you can see I've got a little bit of uh, wear. They have to be cleaned up and touched up a little bit, but that shouldn't be a problem. This is a very in-demand, hard-to-find, highly valuable style of VaporMax, women's size 7.5. I have these listed for $150, and I'm certain that they're going to sell in that price range, if not for that asking price. 
and it's just a matter of time. Really desirable style of Vapor Max, a very unique sole with the bubbles and just how they are sort of manufactured and formulated. Very kind of easy to spot once you familiarize yourself with the way they look because of how unique those soles are. So definitely grabbing those. Excellent find there. Super lucky on the Franklin Mint. We're doing pretty good here as we move throughout the rest of the store. Now, I I don't sell, I think it's Fasonable is how you pronounce this. I don't sell a lot of it. And so I hesitated on this like polyester nylon jacket. It was a size 2XL. And with the spring and summer coming up and the fact that I just don't sell a ton of that brand, I'm, I'm gonna leave that behind. Same with the Affliction shirt. I love picking these up at the bins, but this is gonna cost me $5 in store. So I have to pass on that one as well but I do end up getting lucky here. So this kind of makes up for everything. Here we go once again with the Patagonia. This is a men's better sweater. It is a size large. It's the quarter zip style and in absolutely mint condition. The uh, actual color on this is Borealis green. You can't really tell it's the camera, the lighting in the store is kind of shoddy, but I have that listed for $70. That was a an amazing find. And I'm, I'm going back and forth right now on these Nike polo like golf dry fit shirts again this is something that i can find at the bins for like a dollar and so while these might have been good pickups they're a great size too with the two xls i'm gonna pass on them why pay five six dollars here when i can get them at the outlet for a better price and i know that they do turn up so it's one of those things where if you have access to the Goodwill bins where you can get a little bit of a better price in bulk, some of the things that turn up in store don't really make sense for you to buy. And I think this is one of those instances, even though we have the correct season coming up, I'm going to leave those behind. And there really wasn't anything else on this rack that was desirable. But that one piece definitely made up for it. So let's move over to some of the racks. They got some ceramic pieces here that looked kind of nice, but they had a little bit of damage and that's really kind of not my wheelhouse. So I do end up passing on those. Um, I like this backpack here too. So Thule, I like it as a brand. This one is actually brand new with tags and I'm gonna grab it even though you can very clearly see that there's another brand embroidered on the front. And yes, that will slow the sale in most cases considerably. The style on this backpack is the Thule Achiever. It's really nice and brand new. So I'm gonna list it at $30, which I think is probably reasonable, but it's in most cases gonna take a little bit longer to sell, again, because of the branding on the front, which is a bummer, but I do like the brand, so I'm gonna pick those up. There's money here in these VHS tapes too. There's lots of like between five and $10 and you can lot these up. I'm only gonna grab a couple of them. I'm gonna leave the rest behind for you know someone else to grab, make a little bit of money on. This bear in the big blue house, I like this one. I think I can get maybe $15 for it, so I'm gonna pick that one up. And then there's another one that I do take out of here that I also think that I can get maybe $15 for. Other than that, I left them behind, but you've got some Elmo, some Blue's Clues, some Sesame Street, there's Berenstein Bears right there. And lotting these up together, they're only 50 cents in store. So it's basically the same price in, in at this location that it is at the bins. But these kind of take me, like when I start lotting them up, it just takes me time to do the listing. I like to put the UPC codes in the description so that it you know comes up in search engines and all that stuff. And that stuff just takes time. This is the one I took right there, that corduroy VHS. Um, the title of it was The Circus. So I do take two of them. 30 bucks on those and again at 50 cents they only cost me a dollar so a 30 dollar return is great but there's a lot of money still in that box if you're willing to lot them up and list them um, like i do in most cases so i'm going to move over to some of the accessories which are now 2.99 in this location so three bucks you can see i have chief wahoo in my hand i'm going to take him for certain it is a new era 5950 hat that is fitted it's a seven and three eighths. I don't like to do fitted hats that much, but I can't pass up the chief. The reason I grabbed it is it says right there, engineered exclusively for MLB players, right? So I thought I had, you know, a $300 hat on my hand, but I came to find it, do the research and dove in a little bit deeper that I probably uh, wasn't going to be able to command $250 for this, just based on current listings that also had that in there and current solds. I have it listed for $40, which I think is more than fair and at three dollars that's going to be a great return especially with baseball season 
very fastly approaching. So just check out the rest of this stuff. Sometimes when the place is buried and destroyed like this, you have to kind of dig and look underneath to see if you can score some hidden gems because a lot of people won't fight through this mess. But I don't see anything else here that really catches my eye. But while we're in the bags and the luggage location, bog bags are a big time bolo. They're like rubbery bags. It's almost like the crock of the bags world right now. That's a major bolo that you definitely want to keep your eye out for. They're pretty, I guess I would say unassuming, but very high value in a lot of them. Thought this might, was this, that looks like Gucci or Chanel. Maybe it's Gucci, but it was fake. So I'm gonna leave that behind. I'm also like totally done with Allbirds as a brand, but um, bog bags, keep your eye out for those. They are a major bolo right now. Very exciting when you find them because the prices are very, very high on those bags. But yeah, it's a little bit of a, a mess in that area. So let's head to the checkout line. I do end up grabbing a pair of Coach, and you will see them here in a second. Coach Oakland loafers. They've got like a little snake skin on them right there. I have these listed for $30. I'm gonna leave the Air Force Ones behind because they're a little bit too dirty, and I think it's gonna take me much too long to clean to get the price that I would like to get for them. So leave the Air Force Ones behind. I'm definitely gonna take the snakeskin loafers. They're a woman's size 7B. We are headed out the door. I spent $52 on all of the items that you saw this trip. And my total listed value for everything comes to $610, a very fruitful trip with a couple of items that have already sold. I just took an emergency trip up to the store. I didn't can't catch any of this on film, so I thought I would share it with you here before we go. Three items here, two pairs of shoes, and then some Harley items. This is a pair of Onitsuka Tigers that I have never seen before. They're not supposed to have the laces here. Style number on these, D1B2N. It's been a while since I have found this like Asics Onitsuka Tiger shoe. The sole, with the exception of maybe the heels here, soles look like they're in pretty great shape, size 10. These are cool. I don't know what I'm gonna list them for, maybe between 30 and $40. I did see one sold comp when I was in the store, but I haven't really dug any deeper than that. And I've got this pair of shoes right here these are nike i think these are soccer shoes i've never seen these before either these like high knit style i'm not even sure what that says macastax magistax anyway when i was doing the comps in store i didn't see any i, I think of these listed it looks like pre-owned 60 70 dollars i will throw comps on the screen for you guys here just for clarity purposes but i thought these were pretty unique looking and um, again I had never seen them before so those were cool and then I've got a pair of Harley chaps this is not my wheelhouse by any means but these looked very clean let me see if I can get this in picture for you so that they don't look all jumbled up here let me see if I can get these out okay what do we got here I don't really know if these are men's or, or women's yet, but you can see here the belt, everything up here is in very, very nice condition. These were what? These were $15. Harley, made in the USA, size large. Some right there. The legs look good. Anyone familiar with Harley styles that can identify if these are men's or women's? They look pretty long, so maybe they're men's, but. What do I know? The zippers look like they're in good shape. We got a little bit of dust. These are really, these are really clean. They look pretty nice. But yeah, grab these in really nice condition. As for the price, I don't know. Maybe, maybe these are worth a hundred dollars. So fifteen is not too bad. But um, are they men's or women's? I can't really tell. Anyway, a couple of stuff, a couple of. Uh, finds there that I wanted to share with you. Thanks so much for tuning in. That's all I got for you today. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then I'll always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you again. And we will see you in the next video.